going to knock you out in three rounds or he has to change his name from the Matador? He's going to retire. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Um, I can't wait to get in the ring with, with uh, Mayorga. Uh -huh. Man, I, I feel so good and I'm strong. I know that Mayorga is dangerous, dangerous fighter. And um, anything can happen with him. I mean, he knocked out Vernon Forrest and uh, he beat Fernando Vargas. So, I mean, he, and he's going to probably be a lot bigger than me when he gets in the ring. So, this is going to be a, this is going to be a war. I mean, I like, he doesn't run. I don't run. This is the fight that people want to see. That's what, what he was saying was, people should go to your fight and not the other fight in LA because it's like those people were like Mayweather. They would run out of the ring if they could. You guys are warriors if you'll stand in the ring and trade blood. America knows how I get down, and I know how you get down. So we both, we both are tremendous fighters. He loved the fight. I love the fight, and that's why I picked him. Because I know that we're gonna be in, in, in a brawl. Shane, are you gonna keep fighting after this, or just fight determine if you keep going? What, what's your mindset as far as your career at this point? My mindset is to beat all the guys that beat me. I can't beat Brandon Forrest. He's not alive anymore. God bless the dead. But um, you have. Uh, you know, there's Mayweather, there's Pacquiao, there's Winky, still out there. If he wants to come back, I think he, he Canelo. said, Canelo, he, he said that he wanted to fight. I mean, there's, there's a lot of guys out there to fight. And, uh, you know, I, I healed for two years or whatever, and I feel great. I mean, people, you know, they say, oh, you know, he's old or this and that, but, you know, Bernard's getting ready to fight. He's 50 years old. You know, uh, when I was 38, 39 years old, I was considered old, but Mayweather is 38, and Pacquiao's 39 or 38, and they're not considered old. So why do I get the old man's title when I probably look the youngest out of all of them? <laughs> I mean, people think that I walk, I match to get Cardi. If they don't know who I am, you know, I did see a card. You look like you're 20, you know, 20 something, maybe 25 or 6. I don't know. How did this fight materialize? How did it come about to get this fight together and set up this pay per view? I mean, it, it was all started because of uh, Twitter. You know, okay. Mayorga was saying that, uh, you know, some, some crazy stuff on there. And I'm like, okay, well, let's settle in the ring. Let's see, let's see who's the better man. I think that he's a little pissed off because the last fight, you know, he made history. I beat him with one second. I knocked him out with one second to go. Right. One second to go. So he made he made history. He actually said he watches a fight every weekend. I think he was stretching a little bit, but he he says you know he was he ha he was beating you in the scorecards according to him. So. You know, is there also for you a little bit of wanting to say, hey, I, you know, I'm going to be even better this time? I, I love, I love doing rematches. You know, I want to rematch with Cotto. I love doing rematches. And uh, if he wants to rematch, let's do it. If Oscar wants to rematch, let's do it. You know, wh whoever wants to rematch, I'm all for it. But I also want the rematches too. Because I know that right now, you know, I'm not injured. There's no Achilles. There's no growing pool. You know, everything is... The way it's supposed to be. I'm ready to go. Do you think Oscar was serious when he said he wanted to come back, Shane? I mean, that itch. He said he, you know, everybody says they get that itch. Do you think he was serious and, and decided not to, for, to go with through it? I really don't think he was serious. <laughs> I don't think he was serious. I mean, the only way you can be serious is if you're in the ring and you're moving around, you're sparring with people, and you know you can kind of gauge where you're at. You know, I was just sparring with Sean Porter, getting him ready for uh, Adrian Vrona, you know, down there at Barry's Gym. And, um, you know, I can tell where I'm at. You know, he's a world champion, world class young fighter. And I'm able to get in there and move around with him and give him good work. So I know that I know that I'm you know, I'm able to be a lot of these guys out there. You're right. So, with that said, Shane, I mean I was I was actually tell you I was actually sparring with the light heavyweight guy that was up in there. Uh, Muhammad, what's his name? Muhammad. Muhammad. I was actually, I was actually sparring with him in Big Bear. I was one of the spar. Me and uh, Curtis Stevens was like actually sparring with him up there in Big Bear. So, and he was, you know, not going that easy either. We was we was working pretty good. Mm. When you look at this, this welterweight division obviously changed since you've been on top. I mean, you fought still Floyd and, and Pacquiao, but what do you think of this new welterweight division? Thing? Does that even make you more eager to come back? That you could beat some of these younger guys too. I mean, you say you, you sparred Sean Porter. You feel good in there. Well, you know, I, I don't really feel like I want to come back and beat and beat up on like kids and stuff. I don't I don't want to really beat up on the kids. <laughs> but I, but I, you know, I let them have their day. Like I said, Sean Porter can take Sean can take care of all that over there. I just, I just want to get the you know the guys that you know are still around, the guys that still want to fight and still think can beat me. I mean, you know, Winky Wright has said that he wanted to fight. Um, 
you know, I mean, Cotto's still out there, Manny Pacquiao, you know, and Mayweather. Mayweather's fighting Berto. What do you think I of that fight? I don't know if that's a fight that... <laughs> I don't. I just don't know. You think a fight against Shane Mosley rematch would sell a few more pay per views? Maybe uh, a lot more. <laughs> it, 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 it'll, sell, it'll sell a lot more. It's a lot more, and it's a more dangerous fight for somebody like a Mayweather because I do know what I'm doing in there. I do know how to get to you, hit you. Uh, I'm not gonna get intimidated or afraid because you're, you're Mayweather or because you're Pacquiao or because you're whoever you are. You know, I've been there and done that already. So. Yeah, and Marquez, I remember you mentioned one time oh, Marquez, you wanted yeah, that yeah. fight. He's actually said he's coming back. Do you think weight-wise that's a fight that could still happen? Do you think well, weight-wise, I mean, is there a way that that fight could happen, you think, still? Uh, it might could happen, you know, a little bit, little bit later. I think that um, a lot of these guys that want to, to get in the ring, back, back in the ring with me, they're, they're a lot heavier. So I, I have to put on a little bit more muscle mass, I get a little bit more bigger. <laughs> And going up and down, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know how that's going to work. Right. Maybe, maybe I can go up. What do you think would be a good weight as far as your return? Where would you like to be in that? 154 or a, a good weight for me was going to be 147, but Where? because we're going to make 147, right. so uh, we're going to do 157. Hey, how you doing? Hey, and you know what? You're financing the show. You're putting the show on. Uh, not many boxers in general do that kind of stuff. Aside yeah. from Mayweather. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I figured that, um, you know, I want to finance the show, I want to do it myself, I want to do it my own promotion, uh, my, my, uh, my girl helped me out very, very much with it, she's a, a very strong uh, business, business lady, she's very smart, very smart, very witty, very smart, and uh, I, I don't think that the boxing world really understands what's really going to happen right now, I mean, I'm going to have my own promotional company, we're gonna start it off. We're gonna get some fighters, and we're gonna make sure the fighters are being paid right. We're gonna make sure the fighters are being, uh, are being treated right. You know, because that's what that's what I would want. You know, I, I'm not doing it because I need to have uh, money or I need to take advantage of a fighter. I don't. I just want the fight to be the best they can be and have the mo get the most money they can get because they're the ones that are putting their lives in the line, not anybody else. And you made a lot of money in your career. I know you did. Mm -hmm. When you see, when you see Floyd make two seventy five, what? How does that feel to you as a fighter? Because you made big payday oh, before. How does how does that make you feel? Oh man, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it's it's a bittersweet type of thing. It's like it's bittersweet because like, man, I was in the ring with this guy. Hey, Abel, how you doing, man? I was in the room with this guy, and he makes two hundred seventy-five million or some dollars. See, all these millions, any hundred million dollars is good. So I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he made it. I'm happy that he, he, he made all the money. He, wanted. he did everything he would do in his in his boxing career. His dreams came true. I mean, um, Brother Nazim was telling me from the beginning in amateurs, he was saying he's going to be great. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Whatever, and, and he made it happen. So I'm happy that he was blessed uh, to be able to do that. Cool. Thank you, Sean.